Florida has long been the mob's playground. With its riches and glitz, it is also a haven for hungry hoods. But when a working wise guy lets fun interfere with business, it can mean big trouble. You had all fucking Florida, but you didn't want nobody around you. You kept everything nice and sneaky and quiet. But fucking 10 years you did this. And then the longest thing and the worst thing you ever did, you went and fucked me. Me, that was your fucking stone wall. Your best friends will kill you. Your best and closest friends. Look what happened to me. I had the, my closest friend tried to kill me, two of them. And uh, I survived, and I got even. I got even good. Air is down the front stretch. That's the five taking the early lead to three, moving up on the inside. To Joe Dogs Ionuzzi loved to bet on the Greyhounds, which is how he got his nickname. Now down the back stretch, three, one, five, eight. Joe Dogs was backed by New York's powerhouse Gambino family, and he reported to its notorious enforcer, Tommy Agro. Tommy A, Tom Agro. We had a love-hate relationship. He was an Al Capone type of guy, you know, blow his top and uh, he'd rant and rave uh, over the phone and he was a dangerous guy if he was doing it in person, you know, he was notorious for carrying scissors. I was crazy about the guy. We were good friends, good close friends. Tommy Agro gave Joe big money to loan Chuck on the street at 10% a week. He expected a hefty monthly return on his investment and wasn't the kind of friend to be disappointed. He owned this bar, and in the bar, there was a jar hanging from the, singer, uh, from the ceiling with a finger in it, and it was uh, pickled, you know, to preserve it, I imagine. And uh, I had asked him about it. He says, Joey, when somebody, I put that there so nobody puts their hand in the register from me. He says, somebody stole off me once. When they steal off me the first time, that's what I do. And I remember cooking for him in his apartment in Fort Lauderdale. And I, I found a hand in the freezer, frozen. I didn't believe it. They were all laughing. I didn't know, you know, I didn't know he was like this, you know. Joe loved the high life, but playing with dames and dogs took its toll. By early 1981, he was behind in his juice, his interest payments something that didn't sit well with Tommy A. All you did was see who you going to rob and put in your pocket and lie to me and hide from me. And that's all you fucking did. Lie, double bang everybody. So you wound up where you are all along. I told you this last year. You keep fucking with me, and I'm going to leave you all by yourself. We talked on the phone, and he wanted to see me. He was in Singer Island in Don's Italian restaurant. And I opened the door, and there was Tommy A. He was standing there with two guys behind him, dressing on, smiling. Walked up, stuck my hand out to shake hands with him, and I saw an object coming towards my forehead. And the next thing I knew, I was on the ground being kicked and beat with a bat and a pipe. Pure chance saved Ianuzzi when the restaurant owner's wife happened to walk into the kitchen. Agro had a cleaver in his hand to, like this, his arm cocked up, and ready just to come down and chop my hand off. And uh, when she let out a ear shrieking scream, that he looked up, he dropped the cleaver, and the, the three of them ran out of there. I passed out. I woke up in the hospital two days later, and I heard a voice, which happened to be a nurse saying hello, and then saying he just passed away. <laughs> it was real funny, you know, and uh, I jumped up. I jumped up like that and said, that I'm not dead. Joe's face had been smashed, his spleen ruptured, his ribs broken, and he couldn't see straight. But he could scheme. But my good close friend, you know, tried to kill me. I was pissed off. I wanted to get even. And I wanted to get even. I didn't care how I got even. So I called the FBI. As much as Ianuzzi wanted revenge, the FBI wanted the Gambinos. If Joe could work his way back into Tommy A's good graces, the feds would back him all the way and guarantee his safety when it was over. 
I started making tapes, uh, taping everyone that called me. I have a few tapes on Tommy. Let me tell you something, my friend. I like you very much, and you got away with murder from me. But I always thought one day you'll turn and you'll be a fucking man with me. Because I respected you and made a fucking man out of you all over Florida. I figured one day you'll come to your senses. Tommy A. invited Joe to a Miami Beach hotel for a pool.